What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing part two of the full face first impressions using all new makeup. I guess, is it gonna be a series on my channel? You guys will have to let me know if you want me to continue doing these, but the first one that I did last month, you guys loved, and I think I buy way too much makeup, so it's fun to like accumulate it all, or all the new stuff that I've gotten in the last few weeks, and just try it all at once. I mean, hi. It saves a lot of your guys' time, because I know a lot of you love to watch and see if things work or if they do not work. Now, today's video is gonna be really fun because I went a little ham at Sephora, so I got a lot of new products, and I also got some new stuff from Ulta and the drugstore, um, stuff that I've never used before that you guys have actually recommended. So, today we are going to dive into all of that and try it all on my bare skin. In. So if you guys want to see me play with new makeup, then keep on watching. All right, now, sometimes it's kind of hard to find a full face of like every single product, so there are a few things that I am missing, but I think I got most everything. So I was browsing on Sephora.com and Dr. Brandt, who is of course an amazing skincare line, they have something brand new out called the Illuminizer Primer. Now, this is allegedly something that is gonna give me a natural backlit glow, revive my dull complexion, and help refine the look of pores. I'm like, okay, girl, if anyone says that they can minimize pores and give a nice flawless look, I'm down for. All right, so this says to apply on clean, moisturized skin, put this over on desired areas for a natural radiant look. Okay guys, so let's just use one hand over here. Oh, it smells really fresh. Oh, it feels a little tacky, which is great because you know foundation is going to stick to the skin. Let's do a little bit more for the forehead. All right, this is dry on my skin. It feels, um, feels good. Um, okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be trying out the new Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. Now, this just hit the market and I bought three shades of course you guys all know what a stick foundation looks like by now but this color I mean I'm just gonna go like this I mean that is a that looks like a really good match so this one was a light beige and this one is fair beige all right definitely this one is too light um, I probably could work with that but I like how this one is looking so I'm going to stick to light beige let me go wipe this off and I'll be right back all right, now I'm not sure what kind of finish or coverage this is supposed to give me, and I could stop and Google it, but you know what? Let's just see what happens. I don't wanna put too much on because God knows it could be really full coverage, and then I'm gonna be like, oh. Now, Beauty Blender just put out a new little trio for the summer. I bought two packs. I'm gonna be doing another giveaway with a bunch of brand new makeup soon, so this will be going in there. But I um, unboxed it yesterday, and I used it for the first time. Of course, it's the same Beauty Blender, just different colors. That hot green one is speaking to my soul right now. Okay, so before this dries or gets weird, let's buff it out and see what kind of coverage we're gonna get. On the realest level, up close, I have a mirror right in front of me. You guys, this looks really pretty. Like, it's full coverage, but my skin looks like really nice. On the real fucking tea, y'all. I did not expect the stick foundation to be this snatched. I'm like looking close up like girl. It leaves a beautiful finish on the skin. It does not look he too heavy, but it is a full, I think it's medium. I probably could add a little bit more, but I love how this is looking. I don't see the reason to add any more. Wow, okay. Let's move on to concealer. All right, you guys, so we were about to try a new drugstore concealer, but I opened it up and the lightest shade was darker than my normal skin tone. So I found another concealer that I have not used yet by one of my favorite brands, La Mer. It looks like this, minus all my fingerprints on it, um, but I haven't tried this yet, and this is $75. I'm like, this better conceal my fucking life and my attitude after I'm done using it. So this is the lightest shade in this brand as well. Still, I don't think it's light enough for me, but we will see in a second. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and go under the eye like that. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and bounce this away. Okay, so far, so good. It looks really like lightweight on here. It's not like really crazy. It's not cakey. Um, but did it do a lot though? Not really. All right, so now that this is all blended out, Am I living for it? I mean, I don't think it really did that much. I mean, I'm gonna be the one that says it probably right off the bat that for $75, I should be wowed. And right now I'm kind of looking at myself like, hmm, hmm, I'm bored. Next product. For setting the under eyes and the concealer, I'm going to be using the new Derma Blend. What is this? The Loose Setting Powder. 
Now I've seen a lot of people use this lately and they are ranting and raving about it so I had to get it myself. Now there are a few colors. I just got original. I think that is supposed to be translucent. Comes in a standard little package like this and let's see if she works. Oh, oh wow. Okay girl, what the hell? Oh, it's like a big old like almost like when you open up a pill bottle and you have to take out the the cotton, I think this is what this is. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this right here. Let's see what happens. And let's let that sit for a second and I'm about to brush it away. I'm going to be using this new little cute Tarte Unicorn brush and I'm just gonna brush away my problems. All right, the setting powder, let me go, let me zoom in here for a minute. I mean, it set everything really, really nice. Okay. Now, I know a lot of people um, have been ranting and raving about the, what is this? This is from the brand Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. <sighs> I need some water. Now, notice I'm gonna avoid all the areas that I have the concealer under. I really don't like to dip in and put powder over powder over powder where it doesn't need it. So I'm just gonna set the rest of the face where I don't have any concealer. It looks amazing. Like up close, you guys, right in front of me, I'm like, okay, so now we're going to move on to, let's try some bronzers, you guys. Let's do a little highlighting. Now, I do have some exciting new products that I've been dying to use. The new Coco collection from Chloe um, and Kylie Cosmetics is here. And if you open it up, you get a blush, two highlighters, and a bronzer slash contour color, we're gonna call it. I'm gonna try them out today. I wanna see what the tea is. Now this bronzer close up has shimmer in it when I'm looking um, at it. And what is the bronzer called? This is a Hollywood Boulevard um, bronzer. Do you like how that took me like five minutes to figure that out? Oh wow, that is very pigmented. All right, the face is warmed up. I love this bronzer. I was a little scared that it was gonna be like too like orangey on me. Um, and there's no like shimmer once it's on the skin. In the pan, it looks a little glittery, but on the skin, it's matte, it's soft, it's really nice. It doesn't look too harsh. Definitely not what I expected and I'm really living for it. Hmm. Now I love this brush because you literally just go bam. Nose is contoured. All right, now I think because there is a blush in this palette, we might as well try it. And the blush is called Rodeo Drive. One of my favorite places in LA. And I am going to one, two. Now I do love the formula of um, the Kylie blushes. Now these, just from looking at it, they look to be like the same formula. Um, okay, I went a little too crazy there. So I'm just going to press it into the skin. Oh, there is definitely pigment. I've just been really into like peachy warm tone blushes lately and I really like this color. Bam, all right. <sighs> Let's get to my favorite part of the day, highlighting. All right, now today we are going to be trying out the new Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. Now there are two highlighter palettes. This one is the Golden Sands Edition. There is also a Pink Sands, but this one looked more up my alley. Now the cool thing about this is that one is a cream highlighter and I think the rest are powders. Now I did swatch this earlier because I didn't know it was a cream and I touched it and I was like, oh, it's a cream, okay. So it says to apply this as a base to smooth skin and then you can add things um, on top of it to make it really intense. And I think this one might be more of like a blushy highlighter. So I'm down to try these two. So Fiji is the, this is a cream you guys. So you touch it and it's like, whoa, I mean. And then Seychelles is this gorgeous highlighter. I'm just gonna swatch it with a clean finger. And that is a powder. Ooh, but they feel really buttery. And that's what these two look like. So hopefully they look good on my skin. All right, so I'm gonna use a little MAC um, synthetic fiber brush and we're gonna dip into shade Fiji here. And I am just going to put this right on top of the contour. Definitely not good. I mean, obviously if you like a subtle glow, you could wear this on your um, skin. Even without foundation, it would probably look stunning. But for me, you guys know I am a highlighter freak and this is not blinding enough. I'm only gonna do one side of the face first because what if I don't like it? I don't wanna do both sides. And let's dip into shade Seychelles. And, ooh, okay, let's see what happens, honey. 
That is really, really pretty. Like these, the blush, the contour, and this together, I'm like, huh, it is glowing. Like look at the way when it shifted my face. Mm. Okay, and I'm just gonna put that all on the brow bone. All right, now I'm also gonna take that same cream and powder combo and do my Cupid's bow, of course. I think Huda Beauty has another hit on her hands because this palette is so pretty. And I am doing some of the highlighter on my brow and above the brow bone for some crazy alien dimension. I've been really loving the no brow look lately and there was actually no new brow products from really any brand that I could find this month. So we're just gonna add on highlight until my face falls off. So now let's get started on the eyes. Now I'm going to be using the new ColourPop I Love Sarahi collaboration, which, oh my God, you guys, I was really excited about this because the packaging is stunning and I just loved all the lip swatches I was seeing online, but the eyeshadows were speaking to me. So this one, Shiki, is, girl, it's stunning. Let me show y'all, let me show what's in here. Oh my God, this was even my favorite one, but this is obviously really pretty as well. Um, now the ColourPop eyeshadow formula, I haven't really used it on my channel, I have definitely tried it off camera and it's pretty good, I will say that. Now this palette, there are two, Saucy, that's the one where the colors, like, the color story was speaking to me, not gonna lie. Look at this y'all, look at that, yummy. This needs to go right here and these three need to go right here. Definitely might dip into this one as well, but this one, I think Saucy is it for me, like it looks really pretty. All right, so I love this light shade here. It looks like a vanilla matte, and I'm just gonna be dipping into there and putting it all over the lid and right under the brow bone. Now, these have a lot of pigment. I barely tapped in there, and it's like, good morning. All right, so I'm gonna be dipping into this one. Oh, the names are on the back, by the way. So this one is called Freckled. That is so cute, and I'm gonna use the same brush, and I'm just gonna barely tap in there because these are extremely pigmented. And I'm just gonna just kind of tuck that into the crease a little bit. All right, now we're gonna move over to the other palette. And there is a shade called Chic Happens. And it's like a beautiful light toned mauve right here. And same brush again, you guys. And I'm just going to take that and place it right over that crease. So where normal people's brows would be, I'm gonna bring that shadow up. Now we're gonna take the shade Lit with a little synthetic brush. And let's see, oh. Okay, pigment, come on now. Now I'm gonna coat the entire brush. I'm just gonna pat this on my lid and see how this looks. I love, love how this color like looks in the pan. All right, now I think the metallics have a little bit more fallout than the mattes. I'm like, girl, but they are really pigmented. So it's definitely forgivable. All right, you guys, I think this color is so pretty on the lid. All right, now we're gonna go in with this shade called the Razzie. It's like a dark plum purple, and I am living for it. And we're just gonna tuck it right in there. Bam, and bring it to the lash line, so it just gives us some drama, if you will. Then I'll go back and forth with that other light mauve shade, and I'll just really blend it out to filth. <laughs> This is looking really pretty. These shadows are blending amazing. Now I am going to go in with that stunning, like it's like an almost orangey frosty duochrome type of moment. And that shade is called Heavy Glam. Now I might wet the brush for added intensity, but for now I'm just gonna be using a little pencil brush and we're just gonna go in here. Oh yeah, the brush is coated really quickly. So I definitely don't want any crazy fallout. Now I just wanna put it really in my inner corner, almost over that purple. Ooh, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, I already see where this color is going and it looks really pretty. So I'm just going to take some uh, Coconut Fix Plus from MAC and I'm just gonna wet the brush, if you will. All right, now I'm gonna take that and just place it a little bit more. <gasps> Ooh, it has like a pinky shift to it too. That is so pretty. This is such a unique shadow color. Like, you better work, bitch. Okay, now I'm definitely gonna smoke out the under eyes with that same dark color I put right in here. So uh, let's get to buffing. These shadows are so pigmented. It's like you gotta really be careful and that's a good thing. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that light shade and just kind of go under the eye, blend her down to filth. Bam, bam, bam. I'm like, let me have time to blend. All right, so I'm just applying a little bit of this Chic Happens shade 
Underneath the purple, I think it's a really cool way to blend it out and give you a really extreme type of smoky eye. I think the only thing missing is some color in the waterline, which could be a bright color or we could just do black. We could do white. I think black would be really cool just because it'll kind of make it tie in. So I don't have any new eyeliners. I know you guys are like, really, bitch? I really don't. I mean, who's put out new eyeliners lately? I don't know. But if you guys know a brand or anything new I should try, of course, always sound off below and let me no, um, some good stuff to buy. But for now, we're going back to my trusty Max Smolder. I've been using this since high school and it works. Now, I think it's time to move on to some mascara. And today I have two different types. One of them I'm scared to use with this look, but I think it will, if it's gonna, if we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it in this video. So the first one is one that Tati recommended. Of course, you guys know her as Glam Life Guru. AKA Tati Westbrook here on YouTube. I live for her and she recommended this mascara. Now the price point, y'all don't wanna know the price point, but it allegedly makes your lashes grow longer and it has ingredients in this that will actually make your lashes. Well, here, let me just read it. It says with continuous use, your natural lashes will appear longer and fuller. It has additional peptoids that help build stronger, longer lashes super volume and extreme black. So I'm like, oh my God. All right, so this is from a brand called Shantikai. Now this is called the Faux Silla's Longest Lash Black Mascara. Woo! So of course, for the hefty price tag of $70, it comes in this little purple thing and then you come, uh, it comes out like this and voila. Oh my God, it feels light. It feels light. I, I'm sure it works and we're about to see. Now obviously, doesn't mean the formula doesn't work just because it feels a little cheap, but hey, let's uh, see what happens. All right, so you guys can see the difference between one side. So of course this one has all the mascara, this eye is blank. It does give you a nice length. I mean, for the price point, I'm sure, I'm gonna obviously try this for like a few weeks and see if it actually makes my lashes grow anymore. But for 70, <laughs> I'm like, and y'all know me, I don't give a fuck about spending money on makeup. I'm all down to invest and play around, but if it's not doing anything like out of the ordinary right away, I don't know, bitch, I don't know. Oh my God, you guys, I already forgot. I was about to try another mascara. Like we're talking double brands today. So, okay, we've tried this one. Hopefully it works long lasting. At the end of the day, it's pretty, but for the price point, mm, I don't know, bitch. MAC recently put out a bunch of new colored mascaras and they are bright. This one is called Energize. It is a literally hot yellow. And I thought what better look to try this on with dark shadow underneath. But I know that when you pull this out, oh, I mean, that is straight up neon yellow. So for bottom mascara, is it gonna work? I guess we will find out right now. Let's see what happens. All right, you guys, for bottom mascara, this br like the bristles and the wand is so huge. So it was a little difficult to get under there, but I mean, it has full coverage, like opaque pigment. So, okay, cool. This is definitely different for me. And I haven't done colored mascara in a long time. I love pink mascara and I love blue. Yellow though, I don't know. I almost want to try this again with like no makeup on, really just soft, pretty, and then just do yellow on the top and bottom. But that's for later. All right, so today for fake lashes, for falsies, we're gonna be using the brand Cake Face Beauty. Now they are the same brand that collabed with Kim Tai, and I was like, you know what? I wanna try more of their lashes because those were amazing. All right, these lashes are glued down and I'm really living for them. They're really, they're really pretty. I'm like looking at them up close like, woo, come on volume. All right, you guys, we are almost down to the finish line. Of course, we have to do a li liquid lipstick. I mean, what, this is a, this is by Stila. This is the Be Legendary Liquid Metal Lipstick and this is in shade Petal Metal. So this shade is a stunning like rose gold metallic. Okay, let's see how she works. All right, you guys, we have one last step, of course, setting spray. Not, not a day goes by that I don't, that I don't set this face. So, um, the brand Milk Makeup, they put out a brand new setting spray. It is called the Blur Spray, and it is supposed to instantly minimize the appearance of pores and provides a soft focus 
blur effect on all skin tones. Invisible Mist sets makeup all day. It is infused with some good old organic um, ingredients, so it's supposed to be leaving your skin soft and hydrated. Shake well before use. All right, baby, let's see what she looks like. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, girl. Let's see what happens. Let's get her going. There we go. Oh my God, it like pumps it out like a lot. Woo! All right, I am feeling doused. Let me just buff that really good into the skin. Now, did it do anything? Let me look. For now, I mean, it feels good. My makeup does feel set, which I love. So, you guys, I think this is the final look. The final look I'm living for. I think it's really fun. It's definitely different. I'm so not sure how I feel about the yellow mascara. It's definitely like taking it to another realm. Um, and I'm not mad at it. I mean, it worked. I think I'm looking at my desk. The things that really stuck out the most for me today has to be the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. I mean, that was unreal. Concealer, eh. Not so much, didn't really care about it. The Charlotte Tilbury face powder though, left me feeling like I looked 12 again and my pores were vanished. So that combo together, I'm kind of hooked. And, and the primer, I'm not mad at the primer, but I don't know if it worked or not. Cause obviously you guys know I do have pretty normal skin. So it's kind of hard for me to try primers to see if they like actually really, really work. But I don't know what kind of recipe I did today, but these two combined left me looking flawless. And I think another thing to really um, rave about is the highlighter palette. Oh my God, my cheeks are like glowing from outer space and I'm obsessed with it. I think the eyeshadows worked really amazing. The bronzer from Kylie um, was great. We got a lot of really cool things today. I think the only thing I would really, I don't wanna say I would pass on the mascara. Obviously we know um, that my lashes might be growing right now, who knows? Um, but I will give this a whirl in a few more videos and of course off camera and we'll see if anything happens. But besides that, I think I liked most everything. I'm shocked. I was like, I'm waiting for me to try out a bunch of products that just don't work for me, which does happen sometimes. But today, <sighs> thank you, Lord. I got lucky. All right, you guys, let me know if you guys want me to continue to do this series, if you want part three, four, five, six, and seven. But I always have a lot of fun trying new makeup. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.